Okay, so as you can see, oh, the reed's a little warm. It is very windy today. So if I make the shot, it's going to be pretty miraculous. Or at least more than one. So anyway, the target's about 240 feet away. Oh, ho, hits. I'm using .3 gram BBs in my operation. JG Bar 10 is shooting about 520 FPS. Hits. Nice. Can you go for a turkey? And again, it's three in a row. I'm going to zoom out in a second and show you just how far away that thing is. Oh, just over it. Um, so, do one more shot in here and we'll zoom out and give you an idea. Oh, and the wind took that one. Alright. Why don't you zoom out a little bit, Josh? Alright, so, as you can see, it's very far away. It is about um, two feet wide by two and a half feet tall. Are we going to stand by it? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to stand by it. I'll give an idea how far away that thing is. So, as you can see, that was a very, very tall, long shot. Um, and it might have been more than 250 feet. I was going to guess it maybe. So, crouch down! All right, so he's a, um, whoop, where is he? He is 10 years old. Um, he's very, very skinny. So, uh, about a man-sized target. Yeah, come on back. I'm gonna go down the sand by to give you an idea. And, uh, yes, it's a very, it's a ways away, as you can see. So, we're slightly elevated on the hill, so, just to help out a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go stand by it real quick. Okay, got it. All right. Oh, sorry. Pretty far. Yep, that's it. Um. That far. All right, so there's two things I want to point out during this uh, shooting here. First of all, if you guys didn't notice, it was extremely windy out there. Um, so that's why some of the DVs were going way off to the side, and I had to shoot way over just so they would hit the target. Um, and uh, I was using 0 .3 gram BBs, and the gun shoots about 560, 570 FPS with the point twos. Thus meaning, I haven't cloned it yet, but since I was using .3s, it's probably going to be shooting around 480 or so. Um, I don't know the exact equation for it or anything, but uh, that was that. And uh, I measured it out, it was 242 feet I was shooting at. It's kind of hard to see at the end. Um, the target I was shooting at was the plastic Tupper lid and everything. And I know it looked really small like my brother, but um, when it's on me, it pretty much goes from like the bottom, like my abdomen up to about my neck and it's all, it all just squares it off. So I know it looked kind of big, but um, it really was not overly huge. It was pretty much just a human torso. It's pretty much what you'd be shooting at from that far away. You're not going to be going for headshots and stuff. Um, and going back to the wind thing, this review I think is significant because it kind of pushes the limits of the rifle and my shooting ability. Um, a lot of other videos where you shoot really far, they're not they're shooting but it's like on a super calm day or like they're shooting out of a window or something into their back in something in their yard and there's not really any wind and the bb as you see just flies perfectly straight because there's nothing that they're going to hit it every time um the wind is definitely a big factor so anyways i was very proud of that shooting and so i hope this kind of shows you guys the, the uh pushing that rifle and its ability to its limits so i hope you enjoyed please rate comment and subscribe and check out all my videos um i have another my uh g and g um sr16 is coming up really soon and i should have a package from another site coming in about a week or so so i'll have that unboxing up so we're all good to go uh look forward for those videos and thank you for watching